Rock County Mobility Management is pleased to assist you on your journey to travel independence. This video will show you everything you'll need to know to confidently and safely utilize public transportation in your community. Once you realize how easy it is, you'll wonder why you haven't considered using public transit before. Public transit has been transporting residents of Rock County for well over a century and remains essential to the way of life for many. With rising gas prices, an aging population, and busy streets, more and more people are relying on public transit to get to work, doctor's appointments, and shopping destinations. Having a safe, reliable, and dependable public transit system is as important today as it ever has been. Join us as we take you through the steps necessary to navigate the public transit system in your community as you begin your journey to travel independence. The first step on your journey to travel independence is planning your trip. Start with your destination and locate it on the ride guide map. Each bus line is identified by a unique color and name. The color of the bus line will correspond to the color of the associated timetable. This is where you'll find the time stopping points along each route. Once you have identified your route, determine when you'll need to arrive at your destination and find the route time that best meets your needs. Next, if you need to make a transfer, identify the time your bus will be departing from the transfer center. Then find the route that will get you to the transfer center in time to make your transfer to your final destination. If you have difficulty reading the ride guide or finding the bus stop nearest you, call the mobility manager at 608-757-5408 for individualized trip planning. Boarding the bus. Once you have planned your trip, the next step is identifying your stop and boarding the bus. To identify your bus stop, walk to the street your bus will be traveling down. Be sure you're on the side of the street you want to travel and look for a marked bus stop. Bus stops are marked by signs stating the name of the route. Arrive at the nearest bus stop at least five minutes before the bus is scheduled to arrive. When waiting for the bus, sit or stand at least two feet away from the curb, but still where the bus driver can see you. To ensure the bus stays on schedule, please have your bus pass or token easily accessible or have exact change ready as the bus approaches. Seniors and those with a disability ride for half price with proper identification or pricing information, or to get a reduced senior or disabled card, please visit the Rock County Transportation website and follow the links to the Janesville Transit System or Beloit Transit System websites. As the bus approaches, wave your arm to indicate to the driver that you would like to board the bus. You can identify your bus by the scroll bar located on the front of each bus. The scroll bar will identify the route by name and may include popular destinations along the route. If you're unsure, simply ask the driver and they'll be happy to assist you. When the bus arrives, wait for exiting passengers. Enter the bus and insert your token or fare into the fare box or hand your punch pass to the driver. Upon paying your fare, ask the driver for your free transfer and keep it in a safe place. Use this transfer to board the bus to your final destination. Remember, transfers cannot be used for a return trip. Find a seat and sit back and enjoy the ride. As a courtesy, seats in the front are reserved for seniors and those with a disability. If you are sitting in this area and a senior or someone with a disability boards, please give up your seat. Public Transit Accessibility Features for the convenience of all passengers, Janesville and Beloit buses are equipped with a variety of accessibility features to make the transit journey an easy and enjoyable trip for everyone. All buses are equipped with a kneeling device that allows the bus to kneel towards the curb to reduce tripping hazards. Each bus is equipped with a ramp to allow for easy access for those using a wheelchair, electric scooter, or those unable to use the stairs. If you're using a wheelchair, enter the bus using the ramp and maneuver to the designated wheelchair securement area of the bus. 
Once in position, the driver will assist you with properly securing your mobility device for safe travel. Paratransit. If you're unable to access the public bus system due to a disability and live in the cities of Beloit or Janesville, you may be eligible for paratransit service provided by Rock County Transit at an additional cost. Paratransit trips are only available within the city limits of Janesville and Beloit during normal public transit operating hours. You will need to fill out a paratransit application form and get it signed by your doctor. For further information, in Janesville, call 608-755-3150. In Beloit, call 608-364-2870. Rock County Transit. Rock County Transit also provides door-to-door -door service throughout the county on a first-come basis for those over the age of 55 or those with a disability. To schedule a ride, call 608-757-5054 and state your destination and time you would like to arrive and Rock County Transit will be happy to assist you with your travel needs. Rock County Transit requires requests are made at least two days in advance. Due to high demand, you are more likely to have your trip request accommodated if you give ample advance notice. Boarding with a stroller. If boarding with a small child in a stroller, please remove the child from the stroller and collapse the stroller. For the safety of all passengers, please keep strollers clear of the aisle. When riding with small children, please have them comfortably seated on your lap or next to you on a seat. Boarding with a bike. If you wish to take your bike with you on your journey, you'll first need to take the racket and ride it training offered by JTS. Please call 608-755-3150 for more information. Exiting the bus. About a block from your stop, pull down on the yellow cord or push down on the yellow chime strip to indicate to the driver your stop is approaching. If you're unsure of where your stop is or what it looks like, simply ask your driver. The more you use a particular route, the more familiar you will become with landmarks along the way that will help you identify when your stop is approaching. Remain seated until the bus comes to a complete stop. When exiting through the front door, be cautious of entering passengers. Pedestrian safety. Once you have exited the bus, wait for the bus to depart before crossing the street. If possible, use designated crosswalks at all times to safely get to your final destination. If you would like additional training on how to use the public transit system in your community, call the Rock County Mobility Manager at 608-757-5408 to schedule a group or one-on-one -on -one travel training session. Travel training courses include classroom instruction, bus orientation, and a free ride-along, all designed to help you on your journey to travel independence. I've been riding the bus for four years. For about seven years. I mostly take it to Janesville for the job center because I have a program that I go through. The doctor and out to Walmart, Shopco, and back home. I go to Janesville, I go to church. I go to Walmart, I go to Shopco, I go to the hospital. It's very easy, and the bus drivers are really good. I have no problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy to utilize, I mean, you, it takes you where you wanna go, you can get back at a timely rate, and uh, it's just easy to ride and the bus drivers are friendly.